Now we are starting to get a better picture of what the upcoming school year looks like for schools all across our area. The Folsom Cordova Unified School Board will keep students home for the start of the year. ABC 10's Carlos Herrera is live outside of Folsom High School with details of this new plan. A lot of parents want to see what's next, Carlos. Yeah, they do actually, and that decision came late last night, so late, in fact, you might be waking up to find out about this. The board met yesterday for five hours, made that decision. Uh, the board president, in fact, said that this is the best uh, solution right now to make sure that students and staff are safe, but ultimately, he said he wants to make sure that teachers have enough time to prepare for the first day of school, which is August 12th. So, Right now, of course, we do know uh, that the uh, next school year will start in a full distance learning model with considerations to provide in-person services for students in special education. Now, as soon as it is safe to go back to campus, officials say transitional schedules are going to be rolled out. That means schools are divided into AM and PM groups and only going to school for four days a week. And parents have mixed reaction on the board's decision to kick the year off fully online. Everybody can benefit. Parents can keep working. Kids can have breaks in between. Distance learning for autism, it doesn't work. They're not making the link between home and school. Elk Grove is offering two options. The first is transitional model, which is in-person classes with a combination of distance learning. The second is a full distance learning from home. Parents will have to decide today which model they want. San Juan is planning to follow three models, in-person learning, distance learning, or homeschooling. The Sac City Unified School District has two options. That's 100% distance learning or a blended model with some in-person participation. And for now, Twin Rivers is planning on students returning using a hybrid model. Kirsten, a lot of changes. You can head to abc10.com for the full details. All right, thank you for keeping us posted. A lot of parents care about what's happening next. Thank you, Carlos. All right, so the Patterson Joint Unified School District has pushed back the start of their school year. They're going to start in September. Yeah, we talked to the school superintendent who says he's hoping to avoid that virtual option. If we're all being honest, distance learning is a, is a uh, poor substitution for in-class instruction. He feels the CDC guidelines that call for masks, six feet of spacing between desks, open windows, avoiding the cafeteria and the playground. He says those just aren't realistic. Cannot completely social distance in an educational environment. And I think that's what's driving the decision to keep schools closed. What's next? The Patterson superintendent says this wait and see approach will let officials gauge whether or not they can reopen those classrooms safely on September 8th. Of course, we'll keep you posted for that.